Hey there folks, Nick here. Welcome back to NBA 2K18. I'm playing as myself, who I'm not 6'4", but my character in the game is 6'4". I'm 5'11". Uh, but I'm point guard as a basketballer, and I do like to play like this guy. So I've created this guy emulating myself. Kristaps Porzingis is doing really well, but not as well as me. Look at that. 30.3 points per game, 9.4 assists per game, 1.8 steals per game. Leading my team to win after win as starting point guard. Here we go. Let's tip this game off against the Knicks. Let's see how we go, because this game is pretty damn epic. I reckon you're going to enjoy this one. Here we go. New York have kicked us off with a uh, with a bit of a bit of an and one situation here. Poor Zingus uh, put that one in. Cheeky bastard. Uh, but I've got myself my first assist here with Robin Lopez down low in the key. Uh, I'm skipping a lot of this because obviously these games go for roughly an hour. Um, and I, I imagine that no one really wants to sit there for an hour and watch me play NBA. But if you do, please leave a comment below. Let me know if you want full-length games. Um, I have been doing a bit of research in the meantime um, to try and work out this audio issue. It's really annoying. You probably heard that bit about oh, about 30 seconds ago, um, that crunching and crackling. That was me plugging in and out my microphone uh, from my PlayStation controller. Uh, reason being, I was on the internet, on Reddit, and I found a, uh, a post from about a year ago that mentioned that 2K actually cut the audio when you stream. Um, basically, 2K don't apparently own the rights to, or likenesses um, to any of the sound bites that they have in this game, which I find awfully awfully interesting um, the simple fact being that I mean copyright law and such would dictate that you know they would they must certainly have to have copyright uh, sorry copyright trademark um, what do you call it approval to be able to use things like the Chicago Bulls things like the New York Knicks things like Porzingis's face things like uh, Kevin uh, is it Kevin Harland is he the commentator uh, things like his voice now surely these things have all been licensed, or at the very least, permission must have been granted for the use of them. Same goes with the music, um, and the sounds in the stadiums, you know, the sounds of the crowds cheering, the sounds of the commentators, the sounds of the... That was a beautiful sister marking in there, sorry to interrupt myself. Um, the sounds of of the uh, the voiceover broadcast, another beautiful steal. Oh no, that's my first steal. Still, what a beautiful steal. Uh, first won't be the last, I promise you. Um, yeah, I just, I genuinely don't understand. It's the only game that I've ever come across where, where that situation is is like that. And, and I just don't understand. I can't understand how a company can get away with having copyrighted material in their, in their, uh, in their software. Understand that to the point where they actually don't allow it to be streamed properly. That's really annoying, especially for someone like me who doesn't have a capture card and, and don't know any other way of getting the uh, video off my PlayStation. Um, or without a capture card at the very least. Um, so I genuinely don't understand, uh, but look, that's the way it is, that's the way it is. If it means that I have to talk to you guys for 20 minutes while, while these games are playing, then so be it. Um, but again, let me know, would you rather have full length games um, would you rather I just played the games without me chatting, yapping on, blabbering here? Um, or would you rather I just have some music over it? Let me know what you think. Um, I will put a bit of music over some of this because I don't think I can keep talking for 25 minutes, but we'll see how we go. Um, and see what happens. But other than that, guys, it's Friday. The weekend is tomorrow, and I'm planning on playing a little bit of, uh, a little bit of NBA tomorrow. Uh, in fact, I plan on getting up quite early. So if you are on, uh, if you are attached to a, sp a Twitch, wow, I really can't talk. It's Friday afternoon. I haven't even had a drink yet. Um, 
If you are on Twitch and you do feel like tuning in to, to catch some live NBA 2K18, um, please by all means subscribe to or follow, I think you call it on Twitch. Uh, follow my channel on Twitch, Dr. Octane, exactly the same as it is here on YouTube. Um, and I can assure you, you'll get to see some fun stuff and you'll probably get to hear me swear and such. Um, I am planning on plugging the microphone in this time. It's obviously unplugged at the moment. Uh, I have noticed in the parts where I have had it plugged in, one of the things that it does is it you can still kind of, you can, well, so right now you can't hear, and neither can I, any of the audio other than the referee's whistles and the uh, and the final siren, or the siren that indicates a timeout or a substitution or, um, or the end of the quarter, of course, and the start of the quarter. Um... That's all the audio that's available to me at the moment. Um, and, and so that's what I'm working with. But the thing that's really weird is when you plug in your microphone or your, your headphones into the PlayStation controller, you do start to hear some of the audio. And again, if you go back to about the oh, 55 second mark, you'll be able to hear a bit of audio in the background. Um, if you turn your speakers up or you have headphones on, you'll be able to hear that uh, the commentators are talking. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a bit of an experiment. I'm gonna play a game either this afternoon after I finish recording recording after I finish recording this voiceover. Um, I'll I'll play a game with the headphones plugged in and the microphone on, and uh, obviously that'll mean that that you'll be able to hear me whilst I'm playing, which I don't recommend if I'm completely honest. There's a lot of swearing and a lot of uh, a lot of anger at my teammates because for the most part they're a bunch of morons now obviously I've cut a fair bit of the um, the proceedings off this but things like just just terrible passes um, really really subpar defensive skills it's oh sometimes this game just frustrates the crap out of me I mean you can see here we're now three and a half minutes left in the second quarter and that's a beautiful reverse layup uh, and we're once again trailing got us back up into the lead in the first quarter got subbed off back in and we're down again I don't understand how my team sucks so bad the only reason I can think of is players like Dunn, Grant uh, Noah Vonley. Noah Vonley, for the most part, he does a couple of good things in this match, um, including a couple of nice assists from me. Uh, but I have to say, Noah Vonley is a total muppet. He's either hot or shit. Um, that's just the way it is. I mean, my teammates, I have to work with them, but it is awfully frustrating. But here we go. First free throws of the match. Beautiful. Uh, oh, why did I cut the second one? The second one went in as well. I'm still at 100% for free throws. Um, I think I finished this game on about 83%, which is really good compared to, to you know, early days. Uh, but, you know, this driving, I'm loving it. And as I said before, I, I've essentially based this character off myself. Um, not just obviously in name, but in the way that, that he plays. So at half time, we've come here and we've got a plus eight, plus minus. Uh, my performance is really good, and uh, I am, what am I, at the moment, I'm leading the, the league in points, uh, second in steals, second in assists, second or first in assists, um, yeah, definitely, definitely a contender for the all-star match, but I forgot what I was saying, Jesus, that's really bad, I'm going to leave all this in, by the way, um, <laughs> so, yeah, Porzingis is causing me huge dramas in this match. Uh, he scores quite a few points as this match goes on. Uh, we're now into the third quarter, 50 to 51. We have got the lead. Beautiful, beautiful pass there deep into Markinen. Fantastic finish. Uh, would have been nice if he dunked it so that it wouldn't bounce around the rim like that. But, you know, there you go. Um, but, yeah. This game is going really well so far. Um, I love these tight close... Oh, I say I love these tight close matches. I do and I don't. Uh, when I say I do and I don't, what I mean by that is... I love them because, you know, excitement, exciting, all that sort of thing. You know, there's there's heaps going on. Um, it's all in the balance. You're, you're, oh, what's, what could happen? What could happen? What's going on? And then... 
finish the match and wow we won or wow we didn't and it's all very exciting um, the reason I don't like it obviously is because you know you're constantly concerned oh shit are we gonna win can we get this back have we got it in us um, then they get a four or five point lead with a few minutes to go and you're sort of going oh my god oh we've lost um, and then you got players like Porzingis who just bloody smash uh, that was a terrible terrible floating layup there uh, but I think I think we'll, uh, we'll get some redemption here we go beautiful steal take the ball off Porzingis just hold it up there's no rush probably could have put it down to Valentine in the corner there but he did cut in now I should give it to Valentine too late that's right Lopez will finish it beautiful there we go there's another beautiful little assist there in the key um yeah Let's see if we can grab another steal. Oh, I've tipped it away. I didn't even get a poke ball free for that one. Are you serious? I didn't notice that when I was playing. And Paul Zingas with his beautiful post play. Uh, he, he really is a difficult player to defend against, I have to say. And I've, I mean, I've never played as power forward to be able to defend against him, but uh, watching my power forward, power forwards, Take him on. Uh, beautiful little pass here to Levine. Man in his face. Drops the three. What a star. What an absolute star. So that's brought our lead up to eight now, which is fantastic. It's a good position to be in. But, as you can probably guess, they're going to sub me at some point, and then we're going to be down again. Who would have thunk that would happen? They're running out of time. Five, four, three, two... One! Oh, and it's been stolen! Levine with the steal. That was a terrible pass there to Valentine. But I got the assist, so, you know. I think I was spamming X there. Um, and I caught the ball and pretty much passed it straight away. But we now have a 12 point lead, which is awesome. Beautiful. Oh, I just took too long to pass that, I think. If I'd passed that a split second earlier, I think it would have been good because Portis was free. But I did get that steal. That's four steals in the match. There's still a quarter to go. A quarter and a half to go at this point. Portis with the screen. There he is. Drop it to him. Slam it. Come on, boy. Slam it. What's the point? If you're going to stand under the room and be six foot... What is he? Six foot ten? Six foot eleven? Should be able to slam it. There we go. Pick up a foul. And one. And one. Cop that in your face jam. I'm always going to finish in your face, mate. Always going to finish. Lucky I didn't brick the M1. There we go. Uh, we're still sitting at about an 85% free throws. I uh, must have cut the free throw I missed, but I did only miss one. Oh, there's the pass. There's the lead. Oh, beautiful. See, sometimes Portis just does beautiful work, and you just go, mate, why can't you do that more often? And the beautiful reverse dunk. Let's have a look at that replay. Cut, drive. Oh, slam. He's got nothing. Let's see what other mess I can make of him. Marking him in the corner. Back out to me. He's through. He's through. And slam. There we go. They got nothing on the... They got nothing on the moves. About to say nothing on the doctor, but this guy isn't the doctor, this guy's me. I guess I'm the doctor. I could call him the doctor. But in game, the commentators call him the wizard. Um, no idea why. The first character I made, I called the doctor, and I don't know, it just didn't fit. Um, so, he's the wizard. Shooting some more free throws here. Go to hold. I, there's one thing I want to ask about the free throws, because sometimes it absolutely does my nut. So, that wasn't uh, an excellent free throw right there, that first one. Uh, the second one, also not an excellent free throw. Both were slightly early, truth be told. But the thing that's interesting is that good free throw, the first one, was a switch, right? Just like if you got an excellent. Sometimes I get those good or slightly early and they're a beautiful switch and they look fantastic. But I don't understand why... That's another lovely rebound there. Um, I don't understand why sometimes you'll get a good and a swish, and other times you'll get an excellent, and it'll bounce around off the rim. And what the hell, man? You get a green, and it bounces around off the rim? It should be swish every time. 
Oh, through again. They just can't stop me. I've got to say, this slasher build... Uh, what is he at? Um, uh, uh, slash, uh, what is he? Shot making, driving and finishing and shot making, I think, is his archetype. Uh, basically, and, and I, I was mentioning before, block! Block on the big man! What? Can you believe it? First block of the match and it's on the tallest man on the field. Insane. And there's another beautiful assist. 20 points, 12 assists, actually 30 points and 12 assists, but you know, who's, who's, who's counting? Um, not far off the triple-double, really, if you can get those uh, blocks, that's like blocks, those rebounds and, uh, and assists, uh, rebounds and steals up, should be able to get a triple-double in this match, but we'll see how that works out. Into the fourth quarter, and I've been subbed in at 6 minutes 30, roughly, to try and stem the tide, uh, we have a three-point lead, which is tremendous because quite often, more often than not, I come in and we don't have a lead anymore, despite all the work. Come on, Levine, put the shot up. There you go. When he's in your face. And that's when you hit it. Are you serious? Are you serious? Porzingis is a foot taller than you in your face. In your face. And you hit it. Beautiful. I mean, I'm not complaining. Certainly not would never uh, but you know a bit of consistency should have been a foul should have been an end one there he was all over me but I've had the foresight to change hands and just put it in that really should have been a foul oh another steal what is that six now Jesus and there's Oh, come on, Lopez. Put it in, son. Put it in. He's got his free throws. He put one of the two in. Better than none, I guess. That was almost a, a bit of a fail. Beautiful pass. Come on, Lopez. There we go. Good man. I'm excited, as you can see. Three and a half minutes to go. Three-point lead. Three-point lead. Can we keep this lead? With me on the field? Yes, we can. Slams it. That's how you finish, guys. That's how you finish. Still, still hungry for the steals. Oh, there's... Oh, nearly got him. Oh, got him. There's another steal. Actually, that didn't count for my steal, but that counts for my dunk. That's how you finish. I, 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 I don't know what more I can tell you boys here at this point. Shot creating slasher. Make one, they're freaking awesome. I mean, the other thing is, I mean, I, I don't understand this other thing of. of oh, I tried to get the block there. Sorry, I've, I've interrupted myself. Tried to get the block there. Oh, sorry, the charge there, but I didn't set the block fast enough. Is what it is. I'm arguing the point with the refs. You know, whatever. Um, yeah. So I don't understand why all the YouTube is getting on telling you. You've got to make this build. If you're not using this build, you're not cheesing. I don't understand what cheesing is. Um, you know, you've got to be doing this. What have we got here? A minute and a half to go. Two minutes to go and scores are level. Um, but, but yeah, why would you bother trying to play the... That was a beautiful shot. Why would you bother trying to play the, the build that someone else is recommending to you? You have to know how to play the position, first of all, if you want to play... You know, I'm playing a point guard here, right? And the point guard is a position that, that I most played as a basketball player in the many years that I've played. Um, it's a position I'm familiar with. I know what you need to do there. I, I like the fact that I get to run the game because it's something that I'm familiar with doing. And I do love to drive. I'm not a very good three-point shooter, but I can shoot from mid-range. So that's why I've created this type of player. It really, it really represents me as a basketballer, obviously being 5'11 and 35 years old now, 34 years old, whatever I am. Um, not quite able to dunk anymore, but I can still grab the ring. Um, but back in the day, obviously, was able to dunk. Um, shortest, well, not the shortest player on my team, but one of the shortest players on my team, and one of the few guys who was actually able to dunk. But, you know, you get that. Um, but it's essentially the way that I like to play basketball. Uh, I like to be the guy who, who's setting people up. I like to run the game, call the picks, call the plays, 
keep everyone on my team moving, make sure everyone's getting the ball in their hand. Um, that's the type of basketball that I like to be, and that's why I like to play as this type of player. Now, if you're, you know, if you play basketball or your familiarity with basketball is as a centre, why bother playing as a power forward? Why bother playing as a small forward? Why bother playing as a point guard? You're the furthest removed from the position you're familiar with. Play what you're good at. Now, I can totally understand. Oh, hang on, we have to pause here for just a second. Player of the game. I mean, would you expect anything else with, what, am I at 38 points here at this point? 16 odd assists? Six rebounds? Five steals, six steals? Just, just tremendous figures. You can't not be man of the match with that. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, I mean, play play what you know. There's no point trying to, I mean, it, by all means, learn new positions. Uh, I'm not saying don't, don't you know, try and further yourself as a person or as a player or whatever. Um, but, you know, play what you play. Do what you do. No, do what you know how to do. Now, the last 30 seconds of this match are epic. I'm going to be quiet for the last 30 seconds because, well, when I say I'm going to be quiet, I'm going to let you watch and give you a bit of commentary as it goes along. So here we go. Just picked up a foul. Three throws. One point lead. Green! Got the end one to put us in the lead. Now we have a two point lead. On fire. And the steal, beautiful steal, all by himself. Slam! Watch this, watch this, beautiful. I didn't show my steal though. Oh, and the Knicks are gonna have a timeout. That's their final timeout. There's 23 and a half seconds left in this match. Let's see what the Knicks can do. Can they come back? It's a two possession game at this point in theory. Rebound! And the foul. They're just gonna foul now, aren't they? I actually am not a big fan of that tactic. Especially, I mean, I get it, but I'm not a fan of it. But there we go, green for the free throw. At 44 points, can I make it 45? Can I get my number of points? Second free throw. It's not green, but it's in! 45 points, seven rebounds, 16 assists, 91% free throw. I mean, and another rebound. That's eight rebounds, another foul, more free throws. It gets better and better. Can you believe it? New York are throwing away the game in the last 30 seconds. What has happened here? They were in it the whole way, right up until that last 30 seconds and they're throwing it away with unnecessary fouls and terrible, terrible shooting. I've made it! That brings it up to a seven point lead. There's no coming back from this. It's, it's three possessions that they need to win now. Three at a minimum. And I've broke the last one. <laughs> Typical. Another steal! How do you steal it with less than 10 seconds to go and then get another assist? Oh my god! Can you believe it? And they try the Hail Mary from full court. Look at me, I'm so happy. So happy with that performance. Man of the match. I imagine top scorer of the match. Wow. What an epic, what an epic match. And I hope they're all not that close, but I sure hope they all finish like that with three steals in 30 seconds. Guys, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I haven't chatted your face off. See you tomorrow. Chairs Club.